How's it going, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. Ah, alright, so this is the second battle between me and Juan PBN. Thank you for the battles, man. I'm enjoying every bit of our battles. They're amazing. Um, we had to do this three times, this battle, because my connection kept dropping, but we did the best we could in terms of that. But uh, if you have not seen the last video, which was the OU version of this particular gauntlet, we're actually doing the PU tier today. That's what this video is about. Uh, the PU tier is a little bit different than the NU, because it is NU, yes, but you're using Pokemon that are not really used in the NU tier. Therefore, it's in the lower, lower level of NU. Hopefully it's not confusing. If it is, I'll let you, you know, throw down any questions about that. Because it's like, yeah, it's confusing. Like, I have trouble with it. It's like, every day I try to figure it out. But um, I came up with a team. I have a, a male stick female, a Lolan Raichu. Why is this thing PU, you might ask? Even if it's a Lolan form, you'd think he would be an improvement over a regular Raichu, but... I guess not, so... And I also have Kill Cannon, and we have Hitmonchan, Magmortar, and Alolan Raticate, the Z-Power move. My opponent has Regirock and Watchdog, Alolan Raichu as well, Mega Beedrill, and Kill Cannon as well, and then Torterra. So, very interesting Pokemon in this video, so if you end up liking this video, you gotta like this video and subscribe for future battle videos, because they're going to be awesome when we go into Ultra Sun and Moon. Alright, here's the first part of the battle. So I'm going to start with Hermione, going for Thunder Wave. Hermione is, of course, my male stick female. Go for, go for the Thunder Wave. And we paralyze Regirock on that same turn. Fantastic. I wasn't sure what move he was going to go for. Probably Stealth Rock or Thunder Wave as well. I go for Hidden Power Ice. It is super effective, but we see Regirock having really good special defense. He might also have uh, max HP, which is a, another thing to consider, because most of the time, Regirock has a lot of HP investment. So I was right on the attacking move, or not really an attack, but I got the, the right move. He went for the Thunder Wave. Either that or Stealth Rock. He actually does both of those um, attacks. So, he has Alaris Toss Rocks on me, and I get paralyzed. Not really good there, but I can switch out going to Boster, my Hitmonchan, who has Rapid Spin, so it's great on that, you know, particular scenario. I can always resolve that issue. So we got a double switch out in this uh, part of the battle. He goes with the Tail Boner. I got the better end of the deal because Watchhog is part normal. I have fighting type moves this time, so I go for a rapid spin. It's funny how powerful that move is. Mega B Girl is so freaking frail, it's not even funny. Um, he is a Mega B Girl, so he ends up mega evolving right in front of my face. But you saw how much, how much damage the rapid spin was. Man, he's so frail. But I can, I know I can live in an attacking move. But I get poisoned at the end there, which is a little unfortunate, but I'm not going to use it much again for long. I'll always switch out. Yeah, there's a way to resolve the poison. You just have to switch out and use him quite sparingly. So I go from Rock Tomb there, and I finish off the Mega Pokemon. I question him going into Watchhog right here, because obviously I have Bok Punch. Which is priority, I will outspeed him. And then he goes into a low and Raichu. I if I were my opponent, I would probably go into Raichu first. But this is what happens. I have a life orb on this hit my hand. Take a little bit of recoil there and then I die to the poison. Not very good there. That forces me to go into eradicate. A low and a lower form eradicate. And it's a dark type. Uh, for those who don't know, a woman likes to use part psychic as well as electric. I knew he was going to switch, so I go with a sword stance. Easily enough, I can do that. And then, reveal to my opponent 
because I have the Z power. And the Z power move of choice is going to be Black Hole Eclipse. Very powerful at plus two. This will easily finish off any Reggie Rock or Reggie Rice. Reggie Ice. <laughs> I can't even talk. Wow. Reggie Ice. I kind of, I kind of made that sound like a fusion of Reggie Rock and Reggie Ice. Reggie Ice Rock. Some, I don't know. Anyway, we're moving on. It was a little, it's a little error there, but um, here we have this awesome moment where I use Sucker Punch and it actually works in a Beak Blast. Because Beak Blast, you heat up your beak and then you get burned, but the Sucker Punch still works amazingly. I do get burned, but I'm at normal attack because I set up earlier, remember? But that's okay, I can always set up again if I wanted to, but uh, I go into Toe Cannon and um, Low Kick was used and I don't take that much. I have a lot of HP investment on this particular uh, Toe Cannon. Now here my opponent thinks that I was going to go for a flying type move or something, but I just go for a U-turn. Get the heck out of there! <laughs> and I go into my own Raichu. Fantastic turn of events. Uh, I, I don't believe I have Focus Blast. I don't trust that move that much. So I'm going to go for a Volt Tackle and it's a little unfortunate because I don't really have much attack on this um, Raichu set. My other Raichu has uh, Focus Blast and Volt Tackle, I believe. Something like that. I don't know. I have to check my boxes. So here is Zag Mortar hitting the battlefield for the first time. Go for a Flamethrower. This is Firewalker. I've used him a few times in X and Y and Oras. I know what he's capable of. So we finish off the um, Watchdog, and guess what? This is his last Pokemon, Torterra. Can you believe it? It went that fast. But yes, this is his last Pokemon. But the thing is, I could easily finish off with Magmortar, okay? I don't want to lose, like, no. I don't want him. Yeah, okay, I don't want him to, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't even think straight right now. But basically what is happening here, I could easily finish off Magmortar. Uh, or <laughs> Torterra, excuse me. Yeah, I can easily finish off Torterra with Magmortar. So what I decided to do is to make things interesting, sacrifice a few Pokemon, make him take recoil, and then if for some reason my Pokemon are fainting because Torterra is being a boss, I have the Magmortar. That will speak torture and finish him off with a flamethrower. That was so hard to say, like for some reason I just couldn't get my my thinking straight there. But uh, basically the end game was I didn't want to end it so quickly, so I decided to switch out and make it a little, you know, interesting ending there. So hopefully that wasn't a scary situation for y'all, but um great match. I appreciate the effort by my opponent. He has yet to beat me. Uh, it's been a while since he beat me, but um, it really does not matter on that. It's basically having good matches, and my opponent had a great, uh, a great time as well. So, I believe we're going to have another battle. Um, I believe it's going to be the UU tier, but that's going to be for a little while. I do have another match against one of my other rivals. I will post that in the next video, but for now, if you end up liking this video, liking the video, and subscribe, and if I don't post anything for October 31st, I just want to say Happy Halloween, have a great time with decorations and trick-or-treating, trick-or-treating rather, and um, stay away from the ghost type Pokemon that we're lurking around. Have a great week and a great day. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.